This video shows the steps involved in creating the top coat layer on a fiberglass roof. It's part five of a five part series where we cover health and safety, decking and insulation installation, positioning and installation of edge trims, fiberglass laminating, and in this case, top coat application. Top coat, also known as flow coat, is the final layer of resin applied to cured laminate. It's intended to pro provide aesthetics, abrasion resistance and waterproofing. You can purchase resin library fiberglass roofing kits in a range of sizes. Simply click the link in the description below. Otherwise, give us a like and please subscribe. Before applying the top coat, it's a good idea to plan ahead and make sure that you're starting around areas that are easy to access and move away from. Not only is this for safety purposes, it also means you don't end up stepping on wet top coat, which will obviously affect the aesthetics of the finished roof. You should aim to add around 0.5 kilograms per square meter of top coat to the cured laminate. An extra 10 to 15% of catalyzed top coat may be required in some instances. It's a good idea to practice in advance. Top coat resin requires a catalyst, MEKP, to initiate curing. This is added in advance. MEKP catalyst is added in a 1 to 4% volume to weight ratio to the top coat. Concentrations outside of this range will lead to a substandard cure. Lower concentrations, such as 1 to 2% of the MEKP catalyst, are preferred for warmer temperatures, whilst higher concentrations, typically 3 to 4% of MEKP, are preferred for colder ones. For example, for every kilogram of top coat to be used, use between 10 and 40 milliliters of MEKP catalyst. Thoroughly mix it in. Catalyzed top coat resin should be used within a 15 to 20 minute window to avoid premature curing prior to application. When performing this, it's worth practicing with small quantities in advance to make sure you can get the right finish. The table on the right shows range of increasing quantities of top coat resin to be used with corresponding catalyst volumes to be added to achieve set concentrations. When preparing the catalyst, it's important to accurately measure out the quantity required. Most roofing kits will come with a catalyst dispenser. As you can see, the liquid is filled in the container like this and it allows it to be measured with the measuring gauge on the side. MEKP catalyst is a clear liquid and in this example we've just used a dye inside water to give you to give you an example of how the catalyst dispenser works. Once you have the required quantity of catalyst, carefully pour it into the top coat resin and mix it thoroughly, taking care to avoid any splashes. This top coat resin is more viscous than the standard polyester resin used for laminating, so it does require a bit more mixing. This is particularly important with larger volumes and larger quantities of resin, which are generally harder to mix. Poorly mixed top coat will lead to substandard curing and an incomplete finish on the surface. This will limit the lifetime of the roof. Using a roller, you should aim to apply approximately 0.5 kilograms of catalyzed top coat per square meter of laminate. This should generate a thin, uniform layer on the roof surface. Aim to apply the catalyzed top coat within a 15 to 20 minute window to avoid premature curing during application. Take care to protect the perimeter detailing like fascias, skylights, etc. This could be achieved using tape or excess trim. Note that a paddle roller is not required due to the hardness of the laminate. The roller is sufficient at this point. A brush may be suitable for more complex sections or harder to reach areas. Aim to start in more distant areas, ensuring a safe, clear exit roof from the roof when the final section is applied. Be sure to keep the top coat application consistent. Excess amounts of top coat 
are likely to create a brittle surface prone to fracture and cracking. Although too little top coat will expose the underlying glass fibre to moisture, both dramatically shorten the lifetime of the roof and would lead to leaks. So apply the top coat until the entire roof is covered, ensuring that the fiberglass roofing system is fully waterproof. Allow the top coat resin to cure for a period of two hours before considering it partially waterproof and 24 hours or more for a full cure. Once the top coat has cured, it's advisable to perform an inspection. The fiberglass roof should look mildly glossy, seamless and free from exposed fibres, pinholes and other damage to the laminate. An absence of these should indicate that the roof has a multi-decade lifetime ahead of it. This video is for general informational purposes only. It does not constitute roofing advice. Resin Library is not liable for any outcomes. The use of information linked to this video is at the user's own risk. The content in this video is not intended to be a substitute for professional roofing advice. Users should not disregard in, in obtaining professional roofing advice.